Hello farmers and welcome back to Western Australia. Just about finished harvesting up our oat field. And we're up to 110,000 in the bank account, which is really nice. Always good to see the money going on up. Um, the harvest uh, yield is doing pretty good for the most part. If we look at our yield counter for the field, uh, at least this section of the field is doing rather well. The middle section was mediocre, but the beginning of the field was pretty darn good. So overall, I've been rather happy, and while things have been going on, I've also been trying to figure out where to spend the money next, and I think it's going to be going into buying ourselves a Mack truck. That way we can get ourselves finally a bigger grain trailer and also the low loader for auto loading all the pallets. After last episode and just, you know, selling all those pallets and how long it took, uh, getting something like the truck and a low loader to move those around, plus the truck will be at a faster speed, so going from our production buildings down to the store is going to be a lot quicker. And also by getting the truck and eventually the grain trailer, I'll also free up my Case Magnum tractor from having to do the grain carting when harvesting a field. Because currently I would like to be able to be, to be mowing the grass. Uh, not like it matters too much on this sequence because, well, I need the baler uh, at the same time. And currently I'm using the baler. Well, the worker is anyways. So, yeah, buying the truck and getting like that set up going... Yeah, I could have the case magnet mowing the grass right now that I can go around and bail up because I, we will we will be making some silage bales here very soon. As for the header, we have gone over the first hour for leasing, so I had to pay like an additional forty two hundred dollars for the hourly fee. I think I'm like one point three hours into harvesting this field, so yeah, even with a sixty foot header, it takes over an hour to harvest this field. Someone did mention that, you know, I, I probably should have bought a smaller harvester or saved up the money and I could have bought more stuff, but buying a smaller harvester, we've used a smaller harvester before on the other fields, or at least a field down by the store, and that would just make uh, it a lot longer to get the job done, and sometimes time, time is money. Now let me go ahead and... We'll get this oats on up. Yeah, time is money, so uh, getting this combine now, I'm, I'm pretty darn happy with it. I would like to have had enough money to buy the header, but that's going to be like another 200 grand. Hoping we can afford it by next season. Unless I can get all the crops harvestable in the same month. I thought I did that this year, but I guess I miscalculated when I planted the wheat. Uh, wheat is harvestable this month, but I must have planted the wheat a month late. So it's going to be the second month before we can harvest that. Or next month. So we'll be keeping the header overnight. There'll be an uh, overnight fee for it, but that's, that's alright. We've already paid the initial fee. I'd rather pay the overnight fee then return it and lease it again. I don't know how many straw bales we have created, but I'm guessing it's a good amount. Uh, we may actually sell some. Uh, not right now, in January, because January is a terrible time to be selling straw. That's going to be more like June, I think, is when we sell the straw. Alright, I got a few patches I need to clean up of the oats that's just around the islands. Uh, yes, there's a good amount of straw just laying around the field here. I may just leave that there for now because I need to get over and get that silage taken care of. And the worker would have dropped a bale right there, so I'm just going to leave that pile of... <laughs> I'm going to leave those oats right there. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're looking for the collectibles on maps like this if you look at islands like we're going around now I don't think it's this island here but islands on other plots of land like that you can find a half dozen of collectibles on an island so yeah if you want to collect the collectibles that's where you can find most of them for sure 
So you can see all the straw bales in the field here. It's a good amount. I mean, maybe 24. We do have the bale counter on the baler, and I think I did reset it when we started this job, so we can see here in just a moment. Eventually, we will have cows, so I want to keep some straw. And we do need some straw for our tableware production, which reminds me, I need to get a bale into that, because that production right now currently is not running. And as we know, that's going to bring in a good amount of money if I could sell it at the, you know, peak time. Alright, I do believe this is the oat field, we'll call this harvested. I'm kind of hoping, I don't remember, if I can get to the telephone poles at the other side, so I may not put that on the header trailer when I bring it over to the wheat field next month. Kind of forgot how many loads of oats I brought over. I want to say close to five or five in total. Not the best time of the month uh, or the year to be selling oats, but we don't have a silo. There's nothing I can really do with the oats. Yeah, I don't want to uh, buy the grain mill and make flour and, and sell that. We got enough production buildings going on. I do like production buildings, <laughs> as I think most do. It's a good way to make money, but I just don't want to buy the production building just because I am using it. Uh, I need to turn off my combine here. Oh, yeah, and the worker... What do you got for a bale in there? And currently we have made 20 bales. Uh, yeah, let's just dismiss the worker. I'll leave that running because I will need that in just a moment. All right, combine. We can fold that up. Turn that off. Squeeze through here. All right, let's go sell this grain. Yeah, as for the truck... I need 120,000. We're at 110. I'm not going to buy it exactly right now, but I think when I go to harvest the field, the wheat field, we'll have the truck and maybe lease a grain trailer, or maybe I'll take out another loan. <laughs> yeah, just keep taking out loans while they can, and uh, maybe we'll just buy both the truck and the trailer, the grain trailer. And I'm kind of hoping that with the grain that I sell off that field, uh, maybe I could buy the low loader at the same time. Although I do need to keep money for leasing the forage harvester. Which I'll need for this sugar cane field. And also the forage harvester, the header. And that's pretty much it. I think that was like 30000 to lease that. I think the bank will... I haven't checked uh, since I started selling the grain. I think last time I checked, I think the bank was going to loan me, or could loan me, like 70000 But since uh, we got some money in the bank account, I'm pretty sure that's gone up. First off, let's see what this gets us up to. We'll just say $116,000. Uh, now the bank is going to let me loan up to 235000 I could loan. That is a good chunk of cash. That is enough to buy the truck and the trailer. I am going to go with the dump body trailer that I've used. Well, I haven't used it in a while. And the reason being is because uh, for our sugar plants, yeah, having a tip trailer, yeah, we, we've seen the issue. I don't want to say an issue. It, it's just a slight problem. Uh, by having a dump body, I can just pull in there and unload. And that grain trailer will hold 120,000 liters. It's a trailer I've used quite a bit, but I really haven't used it since. Well, I didn't I didn't use it on American Falls, or did I? I don't think I did. I don't think I used it on Goldcrest Valley. Oceanside Forest for sure. I used it there. But you know what I'm talking about. Alright, so now we gotta get set up for making some silage bales. We got plenty of hay bales. 
Let's get the mowers over here. And of course, we'll be putting this into a swath and yeah, we'll have a worker in the Massey Ferguson following behind us. All silage bales, which will be sold in June. And if all goes well, I should get about $220,000 worth of silage bales in one cut. And probably next cut might be silage bales also. Right, let's uh, unfold that. Lower that down. This I need to change to swath dropping. All right, let's find the yep, Massey Ferguson. So 20 bales, I'm gonna leave that straw in there. That's gonna get converted over, I, I hope, to hay, not hay, sorry, grass. I'll leave that straw there. I will come back over at some point and pick this up. I was looking at the crop rotation for this field. So the current rotation is follow and then oats. Uh, I'm thinking of planting wheat in that field. Uh, that'll give us 115% on expected yield. And I expect to have chickens maybe next month after we harvest our other wheat field. All right, let's go ahead and, oh, that is already lowered. Turn that on. Uh, automatic drop is on 159 centimeter bales I guess I could reset the bale counter but yeah we did uh, we know roughly what we're going to get M most of the time I think we get what we need here make sure I got myself a worker Frank Jr. is going to be following behind us and this should be putting it to a swath in the center perfect I will have to slow down once in a while because the baler does, doesn't, you know, I want to say the working speed in that is 12 and we can mow the grass at 13 or 14 apparently. At least I'm only going to have to go around the grass field once, unlike making hay, I got to go around a couple times. Make sure the worker is behind us, they are. If the first bill comes out as straw, not that big of a deal. So this is probably going to take me about 20 minutes or so to cut the grass field. Yeah, put the straw bale in the tableware after this. Uh, we'll check on our sheep to make sure that they've been fed, you know, enough. I think we did feed them at the beginning of the month. And we can move on to February, where we'll harvest our beautiful wheat field. Most of the grain, as I was saying, will sell... The last uh, set will keep if I decide to go with chickens. We'll just get a few chickens to start with and let them multiply on their own. Uh, someone was saying maybe I should sell the sugar cane because we got a whole bunch of it. The sugar factories are, I don't want to say almost empty, but they're going to take just about all that sugar cane that we have. In, yeah, they will take all that. That's 600,000 liters. So that's 300,000 liters per factory, and those factories have enough room to take all of it. So uh, I'm, I'm thinking if I can afford, or if I do buy the trailer, uh, we will take care of the sugar cane next month. So we'll just let Frank Jr. keep catching up now and then. I think I spread this field, grass field with lime last time, so pH value should be still pretty good. But of course it will need nitrogen. I just want to make sure I don't get too far ahead of the worker. I think that's the first. No, that's our second silage bale. The more the better. I'm actually, uh, you know, the way the series started, um, it felt just a little bit slow. 
Uh, but now with the oat field, the wheat field, the sugar cane, all the productions, the grass field doing what it's doing, and now not doing any contracts, I, I'm not worried about having to do contracts. Uh, for a little while we're saying, yes, we're done doing contracts, but we'll see how it goes. I think we don't need to be doing contracts anymore, which we haven't uh, for a few months now. The money's coming in good. And, yeah, I think we'll be able to buy our, our tractors, our equipment at a good pace. And also expand. Uh, yeah, so if you're also wondering about, well, what about field number, I think it's field number three, which is way over in the corner. I think it's currently got cotton into it. So with the dynamic field prices, currently they're asking for 40% over the base price. So really expensive uh, for what it should be. So that's why I'm more looking towards a truck rather than buying a field. Plus in that field, I think they got I think it is cotton they planted in that field. Uh, yes, it is cotton. So is it 40% over what they're asking for? 42.1%. So currently they want $608,000 for that field. Um, I've seen it as low as like 325, I think. And that was like a 40% discount. So yeah, as for now, um, yeah, definitely getting the truck because even though it was great selling all that stuff last episode, there was a lot of trips back and forth and getting the truck and the low loader that can fit double the amount of pallets or maybe even triple the amount of the pallets that the current one that we have can hold is going to be much appreciated. Plus the speed, as I mentioned, the truck can probably do, I'm guessing, 52 miles an hour compared to the case that can do 32. And it'll be a little bit more stable of a trailer. I almost tipped over a few times, bringing down the cane juice, I think it is. I think I kept calling it cane sugar in the episode, but it's cane juice. All right, the baler's actually keeping up at a pretty good pace here. So, let's get this uh, grass field mowed and, and bailed on up. I could have skipped a month, but then I would have been right back where I was last year, maybe only getting two cuts in the grass field per season. I'm trying to get three. So I'm hoping this will this will end up doing it for us. So let's go ahead and uh, turn on the radio and get this field bailed and wrapped and all set for the grass to start to regrow.
a little bit messy, but uh, we are almost done here. Almost can call it a wrap. Yeah, a wrap. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing somewhere around 20 bales. I think before we started putting stuff inside a grass field, I think I used to get about 24, uh, pretty close to that. Uh, but I think we're going to be down to closer, like 20 bales at this point. With the factories uh, taking up a corner of the field, and of course the sheep taking up a little bit of the field. 20 bales seems about right. And by looking around, that seems pretty close. If we get more than that, that's fabulous. As for the little pieces around here, I'll probably get a chance to clean it up a little bit uh, in between this episode and the next one. But we are going to be advancing to February here pretty soon. And it's not a rush to get the grass picked up and bailed up because anything I ferment, start fermenting next month, it'll be ready by June. It takes three months. Yeah, when you're playing on hard economy, the bales take three months to ferment. But if I were to put it into a fermenting silo, it just takes one month. Bales are the easier way to go in most times. Just that, I mean, you could have someone falling behind you like this, bailing it and wrapping it. And the grass is cut. Perfect. Fold that on up. Uh, while I'm waiting for my worker to go around, I want to check on a few things here. Uh, first things first, the sheep. Um, 35,000. They got 45,000. So they're good for another month up to this time. So don't have to feed them this month. Uh, production buildings while we're waiting. So the orchards are doing orchard things. Uh, they're going to need some compost here pretty soon. We got that. Uh, everything here is going rather well. Although we're getting full of green peppers and onions in the processing plant. And that is... Oh, we're waiting on cucumbers. Cucumbers are the thing that we're waiting on for pickles. All right. Uh, tableware. Oh, yeah, I got to put straw in there. Uh, are we backed up on the greenhouses at all? Not that one. And not that one. So that's good. Orchard stuff. Uh, this greenhouse here. Yep, we're doing fine there. Uh, the wall, the fabric. We're doing good there. Uh, the sugar cane. I think I can wait until next month before I fill these up. If not, they're going to be, you know, pretty close they would have run out just like in the early morning. So I'm kind of hoping to get the trailer uh, in the morning and we can top those off rather quickly with a newer trailer. And we'll just have the worker follow behind us. I need to come in here. I mentioned it before. Flatten out the terrain a little bit through here. Yep, the yard is a little bit messy. Go have to start cleaning that up, but we got a lot of work to get to. And then the butterfly mower. Turn the case off. And you. Nope, you're done. You're done for now. Uh, and we'll just leave it parked right there. Let's grab the John Deere 6230. We'll grab a straw bale. We got some straw bales right over here. I don't think it matters which one I grab. Uh, looks like... Oh, this is like one of the original straw bales over here. Let's grab this one here. How many liters is that? 14,000. That's good. I think the factory holds 20,000 liters. So this will keep it running for a bit. Oh yeah, I was going to check to see how many silage bales we made, so I got to jump back into 
the Massey Ferguson. Yeah, the tableware production building, that's going to bring us in a decent amount of cash. It's using up some sugar. Uh, we'll use up some straw bales and the water. Not that big of a deal. We filled it up and that should, you know, with the amount of water I put in, that should let it run for a full season or full year. That should just disappear. Or we can leave that here. I did not check. Least items. I was like, oh, we got to return that. No, 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 no. We got to keep that for next month. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I remember this stuff now. And, yep, that's it. Only four things currently right now. So that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll jump into the house. And let me just fast forward time until, well, about 17, 1800 hours. Five or six o'clock in the evening. If nothing has shown up in the store, then uh, we'll go to bed and wake up at. 5 a.m. and double check the store. I think if things are in the store, they're in there for at least 12 hours. I don't know if they actually, you know, if things sell can sell faster. I don't really know. Never paid too much attention to how long or short things stay in the sale item page. All right, let's actually go until 1800 because that'll be 6 p.m. and we're waking up at 5, so that should be a good 12 hours. If anything should appear in there that we're looking for, it's gonna it's gonna have to be something really close to what we're looking for, and nothing new has shown up. All right, uh, yeah, I think we're all set. Let's wake up at five o'clock. Sun could be up because we are in the middle of summer, headed towards fall. I think it's gonna be orange sky is what we're gonna see. So we're down to 104 because we do got loan payments. All right, and what do we got here? Ooh. Forty-one thousand, but then it's—I don't want to say only fifty-nine thousand uh, liter capacity. But that would not be bad. And I think this does have a slide body, correct? So it could tip or it could just slide. Um, well, I think we, we get this. Uh, oh, that's just for rim color? Yeah, we'll go, we'll go with white. I think we'll get this trailer instead because it's on sale. And I... Uh, I do believe this has a slider and it will not tip. All right, so we got ourselves a trailer. Uh, so now I need the truck. So I'm gonna have to borrow some cash. That's fine. I should be able to borrow some cash unless the bank changed their mind overnight. Um, let's just borrow a hundred. Make sure that's a hundred thousand. And years to pay off, if I do one year, monthly payment, I, I may pay this off this month. So now I have a borrowed remaining amount over a million dollars. I got to start paying off those loans. Uh, but yes, let's go ahead and get ourselves the truck. Um, I've had this mod for quite a while. Uh, so what we want to do, 500 horsepower, well, we can upgrade it for $3,000 up to 768 horsepower. Uh, wheel setup, I'm going with the Y tires because we're going to be in the fields mostly. Uh, design, Australian flag. Uh, this is where it's going to get probably a little bit weird. Uh, I was looking at what colors make the Australian flag pop out a little bit. And yellow seems to be the way to go. Uh, as for design color... Uh, Goldhofer blue. It may not look blue, but if you scroll in on the chrome, you can see it's kind of blue. And it kind of matches the Australian flag a little bit more. And let's go with the uh, Goldhofer blue rims. You can see it's more in the same. So 118000 for the truck. All right, that leaves us $45,000, which is, which is perfect almost. Um, so now... Let's go ahead and just, let's get the sun rising, shall we? Let's speed up some time. 
So now that, you know, is using the truck in the trailer for grain and other stuff, uh, that will, oh, the wool, kind of forgot about the wool, and I probably should buy the low loader. How much are the low loaders again? I will be selling some wheat so I can get some money from that. Um, I think the load king, I think the load king is a little bit bigger, which means I'll hold more pallets. And it's only 45,000. 45,000, and I got 45,487. <laughs> uh, what are the designs? I don't think the ramps matter at all because I'm not going to, I'm not going to put everything up. I'm not going to drive and haul any equipment on here. This is just for loading pallets. Universal auto loader? Yes. Okay, just want to make sure on that. Um, 487 is what I got. Perfect. Kind of. Uh, <laughs> let's get on down and let's grab our truck. And let's grab the trailer, shall we? Alright, let's bring this back. We're going to grab all those wool pallets and bring them on down. Top speed of 51, so not quite double the speed of our Case and Massey Ferguson, but pretty darn good speed for sure. Oh yeah, we do got our lovely beacons here. Oh, this is going to make this is going to make selling stuff a whole lot better. And yes, our wheat field is ready. I'm thinking I can get the header between these telephone poles. I'm going to be driving over other farmers' fields, but uh, yeah, let's get the John Deere down here at the same time. Get the harvester going. I would like to hire a worker, but uh, since I got $487 in the bank account, probably not the best idea to hire a worker. Because I do need one to follow behind the harvester to do the straw bailing. So much faster getting back here. So our other trailer could hold eight pallets. And there's 14 pallets. Not a problem at all. Um, should I be selling anything today? Since I got more room on the trailer. Uh, let's check the stock market page. Uh, anything that's in the green. Sugar is actually still a decent price. I could sell some sugar for 22000 But uh, yeah, not really necessary. Uh, harvestable tableware is going up. I think we're going to wait until June. But we did get... You know, thirty-three thousand dollars of it overnight, uh, but everything else not so much. I think we're we're all set. And yeah, I said I was going to check on the how many silage bales we made. I can't just go check how many bales I've made because I made a lot of straw bales since I've uh, loaded into this session. But we made twenty bales, and probably can get one more bale off that field. All right, let's get these wool pallets down to our fabric shop. Uh, if we fill up our fabric shop, then we'll start piling up the wool because the wool should sell good in November. Oh, that's, that's a ways off, isn't it? Um, well, we'll see if this takes all of it to begin with. I was kind of correct in saying the truck does hit 52 miles an hour. At least I think it would. And it does. But man, do I wish I had this. <laughs> Before I started selling everything. Last time. Now let's see. Uh, the other trailer I'll probably will keep. And I'll probably just keep it down here. All right, there we go. Uh, do I need to remove the fabric out of the spinnery? How much room do I got left in there? All right, I got plenty of room. I don't have to get to it right away. Uh, let me drop off this trailer here. I'm going to grab the grain trailer. And time to go start taking care of the sugar cane. Oh, we're kind of parked on a car. Well, I didn't put it there. The store did. Um, am I going to be able to sneak under the trailer? If not, we'll have to get some assistance because it's kind of leaning 
kind of leaning uh, forward a little bit. There we go. That goes up the trail a little bit. All right, let's go grab some of that sugar cane and start piling, piling it into our sugar mills. Did they run out of sugar? Nope, they're still they're still blue, which means they didn't run out of sugar cane. They're still running, so that's good. All right, so we got 600,000 liters in storage. So 300,000 liters a piece in each. And now I'll empty out our silo. And kind of get somewhat ready for, well, the next sugarcane harvest, which uh, is going to be like in May, April, May, I think. So as for the other grain trailer, I'm going to keep that for storage of wheat for the chickens. I think that's the way we will approach it. Uh, not quite lined up there. I thought I was going to kind of come out. I guess that might be the light. Yeah, it's probably the light. And I was looking on the way back up here. Uh, we can see where it says... Uh, wait, where does it say? Oh, yeah, at the very bottom. Tip side back. Tip side grain door, tip side sliding floor. That's what we want. So now I shouldn't have to worry about the trailer hitting the roof. So if I put about six loads in the first one, that's all, that'll be a little bit over 300,000 liters, but then all the rest can go into the other one. But a lot has changed here on our farm, or I should say Hudson's farm, in the past few months. Got ourselves a huge combine, a truck, and another grain trailer. So while that is filling, let me have a look. See, uh, sugar cane. Yes, is in April. So the yield is not going to be as great on the sugar cane as it was last year. Uh, the field has not been plowed. Because if I did plow it, I would lose the crop that's in it. It wouldn't have regrown. And the crop rotation has dropped 5%. So I'm probably losing like 15 to 20% yield on the field. Which is going to be quite a bit when we harvested 1.6 million. Maybe even a little bit more than that. Why did it change how it was emptying? Nope. So I'm going to have to change that every time. I don't remember having to do that before. Although it's been a while since I used this trailer. So what is that tableware? The tableware sells best. Did I say in June? I did. So we'll probably sell the tableware when it comes time for the sugarcane harvest. That way we can lease the forage harvester and the header. How are we doing over here? It's going to be kind of hard to see it going on down. Oh yeah, I can see it going down just a little bit. But it will be all gone 
by the time we get to the next episode. And the final load for this sugar factory. All the rest will go into the other one, and that will be empty. Uh, but like I said, I'll get that sugar beet, oh sorry, not sugar beet, sugar cane <laughs> transported over there between episodes. I will also grab the baler, pick up the rest of the grass, or most of the grass in the grass field, and then uh, move on over to the oat field where there's leftover straw there. Uh, but yeah, next episode we'll get to harvesting the wheat field with our combine and our least header. We'll get that all back. Uh, we'll be hauling grain with this. Uh, selling most of the wheat just to get a little bit of cash into the bank account and we'll keep some of the wheat and I'm hoping uh, we'll get ourselves a chicken pen and some chickens and of course well feed them and start getting some eggs that way uh, but yeah next episode harvesting some wheat down there and then uh, we got to figure out the crop rotation for that field but overall I, I, I'm getting kind of well I've been excited for this whole series since since the beginning, um, I always uh, love starting a new series. Uh, it's not new anymore, but yeah, being able to build up money, being able to buy what we need for the farm, and uh, it'll be fun using it. And I'll be, I kind of can't wait in some ways for next season. So when I go sell everything, I have a big auto loader and a truck to transport it down there a lot quicker than before. Right, we'll just put some in here because I don't know how low on sugarcane we are. And if I get involved on harvesting right away next episode, I don't want to forget about this. And, oh, uh, yeah, I got to keep switching that to slide, not tip. But there we go. Uh, if you made this far in the episode and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button. Helps out the channel and the video more than you know. And if you haven't done so already and you're thinking about doing so, you might want to hit that subscribe button as well. But that is where we're going to wrap up for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you again right here in Western Australia. But until then, have a good one.